Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about something called the standing waves. So, if we have a rope attached to a wall, and there is some kind of simple harmonic motion in this rope so that the rope goes continuously up and down so first when the wave moves from uh, or moves through the rope till it reaches the point where the rope is tied to the wall uh, the motion won't continue because it will face this solid object and accordingly the uh, wave motion will be reflected so that its shape will be something like this so this is a standing wave the standing wave is formed from the combination of the original wave and the reflected wave okay there are some points where the uh, reflected wave and the original wave meet together like that one this is called a note and this node is a point of destructive interference because we can notice that there isn't any up or down part in this point this is a point where the two waves meet while at the middle of each part of the standing waves there is another point which is called anti-node and the anti-node is a point of constructive interference because here this is the maximum displacement or the amplitude of the reflected wave and this is also the maximum displacement or amplitude of the original wave. So, now we know that standing waves as nodes, anti-nodes, they are formed of the uh, combination between the original and the reflected waves. So, um, now we'll see a video which uh, expresses the shape of standing waves in real life. So this is it for today and um, the next time we will talk about something called Melt's experiment and until then I thank you for watching and see you.